Hello, and welcome to part three of my LP of Bench Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Uh, in the last part, we got the first Jiggy, covered Jiggo Vens, and did a lot of collecting, pretty much. Opened up Nutty Acres, so in this part, we're going to do parts uh, Acts 2 and 3, and complete the first Gruntilda Challenge. So, let's get right on into it. Yep. Uh, as was not discussed in the last vehicle, uh, blah, 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 video, um, yeah, tongue failing, um, there are two different kinds of... Ch there's a, a lot of different kinds of challenges. There are Jinjo challenges, in which there are two kinds. There are Jinjo Taxi, where you uh, do not get to pick your vehicle. It is a taxi vehicle specifically designed for that. And then there are basically all the other Jinjo challenges, where you build your vehicle based on what it's supposed to be. Race, push, whatever. Um, anyways, with this challenge, you see that thing next to Mumbo? See that vehicle? This is a Log's Choice challenge, where you have to use the vehicle Log prescribes, and what you have to do is you gotta run this bomb. Bombs? Yes. By the way, I have a guest commentator today. Uh, the quickest way to do it is to go over this ramp. Oh, let's let's see if we can't just can't get that to work. Let's try this again. Nope. We'll give it one more try. And remember, folks, we are not going for the trophy time. We are only going for the jiggy time. Ah, uh, effort. Yeah, we're just going to do it the normal way. Uh, quickest way, if you can't get that ramp to work, is to go around these hills. Wide way. Uh, if you're really daring, you can try and go over them, which we are not going to. We are actually going to just drive around them. Anyway, so there are going to be grunt bots that just jump up in the air and then attack. And considering your vehicle is very frail, they will be breaking parts off. When repairing, be careful about what you repair. Otherwise, you will send the bomb flying, and that is not good. See how I'm just grabbing the pieces into the cart? Not well repaired. Here's the end of the challenge. You want it? Yep. We got the notes in the jiggy, which you is all we it? need. And as you can see, we have a lot of notes. There's usually an end cinematic to most challenges, like this one. Wow. Why didn't Mumbo think to do that? Because Mumbo's stupid, and somehow he magically teleported in front of Mumbo. Anyways, the second challenge in this area is not Log's Choice. It means you get to build your own vehicle. First use of the vehicle creation system. And we did collect a bunch of parts, so we will have options. Yay! And you remember those trophies that look like a tiger's, fa tiger's face with blue hair? Well, that's this guy. He's called Trophy Thomas, and he's supposed to be the best at everything. Even though I've actually you? No. And don't even mention that again. Anyways, so what he's going to do is he's going to challenge us to a race. And this is a perfect opportunity to go over the vehicle creation system. Well, player's choice. Vlog is explaining that. Uh, it doesn't really matter. We already explained it to you. We're going to create a vehicle, which is this second tab from the bottom. Alright, so basically, it always defaults to the trolley if you're going from trolley. There are blueprints, there's delete, save, and new vehicle. Which is what we're going to be picking as... Okay, there we go. Anyways, we got all kinds of different parts. We usually start with the wheels. We're just going to do a really simple 3x4 uh, uh, box vehicle. That can go really fast, I hope. Fast enough. There are passenger and uh, driver seats. You can only have one driver seat, but there's a lot of passengers you can equip. We're going to use both engines we have, both the small and the medium. Because, well, we want to go really, really mm, fast. No, not necessarily, and this is about all you're going to need for this challenge. Basically, anything faster than the normal. Medium engine is pretty much what you need to get the trophy down on this. Pretty straightforward, basic vehicle. Now, the quality of the vehicle determines how well it performs. As you can see, we got a pretty quick start right there. Uh, that's because uh, the video lagged a little. And as you can see, it's also very hard to control. The standard wheels have next to no handling. Oh man, curse you cows! 
and these stupid standard wheels. That too. This is basically showing you what happens if you go too fast in a very poorly built vehicle. Alright, so we beat Trophy Thomas big time. Well, really not that all that big, but he always shows up there. Cinder! No, oh, we didn't cheat. Anyway, so this one we're only going, uh, maybe half speed. As you can see, the controlling is much better. And we missed the cow. Anyways. So basically, uh, there's a lot of race challenges, there's a lot of collection challenges, there's a bunch of different types of challenges, but there's really only two categories you really need to worry about. Player's choice, or log's choice. That's going to determine if you can make a vehicle for the challenge or not. And pretty much all of the log's choice vehicles are bad. And there's a couple of decent ones. Okay, but they're not good. They're not good like the ones you could come up with. Now we're only going to be using uh, what's pretty much needed for the challenges. We're not really going to show you anything really super duper fancy. Like this is the vehicle you need to use fancy. It's mostly up to your choice, which is why it's so hard to do an LP of these kinds of games. But as you can see, we won with the trophy time. Notes. A puzzle piece. Why? And a trophy. Why? So we are actually, uh, after we finish up talking to him, are going to just jump straight back to show downtown, which you can do from the pause menu. Uh, it says you're going to lose any unsaved data or challenge data. Well, we complete if you complete a challenge, then go back to show downtown, you'll still have the doogie or whatever you collected from it. And ignore the tips. You oh. probably already know them. I don't know. Or Some of the tips can be kind of useful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know that. <laughs> Anyways. So we are going to head over to the Jigo Bend, which has two in it. And just so you know, later on in the game, cops will start showing up. And unfortunately, they think you're smuggling. Yep, jiggies are contraband. Your horn is contraband. Lasers is are just contraband. straight up illegal, actually. Ah. Anyway, so this is going to be the first Grundhilda challenge. <laughs> yes, yes. This is tip number 29. If you're interested, I've heard that the blah blah blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, there's yeah. a lot of really nifty, weird achievements you can get in Nutty Acres. Um, Dump cow in volcano. Um, oh, random note. Uh, there is one for flying to the top. And dropping the cow. Uh, no. Dump cow in volcano. Yeah, but that's kind of fun when you do it from the top uh, years later in the game when you can fly. Anyways, so, uh, we're basically just trying to get across here. With an log. Okay, this is getting frustrating. I'm just carrying it in there. How cheesy! There we go. Anyways, so here's our first one tell the challenge. Basically, she's trying to steal a giant coconut. And you gotta take it back. Yep, uh, there are people who have done this in as little as three seconds, but we are just going to show you what you can do at this point in the game. We're going to build a new vehicle. Basically, it's going to have a fist and a gun. So let's show you the uh, basic process for that one more time. Just so you get the idea for it, all parts must be connected. Like that. 
unlike that, you should say. Yeah. But... You'll get warned if... Yep. If there's anything amuck with your vehicle, it'll give you a notice. Uh, it does not notify you if you have no ammo for ammo-consuming things. Whoops. Wrong item. Aerials, uh, Light body pieces, blah blah blah. Same for heavy. Blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, you have the egg gun and Fuldor's fist if you go out and collect the easily collectibles without glitching. And yes, we just jumped away from finishing the vehicle. It was pretty straightforward. I don't think you need to see the rest. Um, basically, this vehicle, if you hit Grunty, you just need to uh, shoot. Oh. Curse you, Gruntilda! Yes, and your controlling is going to be atrocious in this challenge, which is what's supposed to make it hard. We win! Yep. With trophy time. And yes, the more challenges you complete, the higher the quality of notes, quantity of notes you get. <sighs> Anyways, that about wraps it up for this part. Um, whenever you beat Gruntilda in a challenge, you get the special part she used, and that part gets applied to your trolley during Showdown Town time. But the trolley is still bad no matter what form it takes. Well, with the laser it gets kind of fun. You can burn the witch, which is an achievement. Good point. I mean, just running around lasering people endlessly all day, it's always Killing funny. Killing cops. Which it also is another achievement. If you uh, blow up a police vehicle, it is called Fuzz Off. Anyways, loading, loading, loaded. You now have high grip vehicle wheels for the trolley, which means you can go up smooth surfaces, but I think that's about all the time we have in this part. See you next time. Laters.